Hey YouTube family, I'm sorry, I know it's been a while. I hope I can finish this video because I had so many pictures and videos I've been putting on my phone. Y'all know how I start like y'all know how I like to start my videos with a prayer. Father God, I come to you this afternoon and I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for a peaceful night's sleep. Thank you for providing nourishment for our nourishment and drink for our bodies. Thank you. For continuing to walk with us and talk with us as we take this healing journey, Father God. Thank you for covering the peace of each and every one of our families. Father God, thank you for life, health, and strength. Father God, thank you for your precious son, Jesus, that died on the cross so we can be forgiven for our sins, Father God. Father God, I thank you. I thank you for everything you've done for me. I thank you for all the good times. I even thank you for the bad, Father God, because that what made me into the woman I am today. Father God, I ask you to continue to break all generational curses. Father God, to continue to strengthen us, encourage us, encourage us, and help us to do your will and your work. In your name and your precious son, Jesus name I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Y'all want to decide to do this short video. I'm here on a mini vacation. Look at the water. Mini vacation. And as I'm sitting out here on the balcony and I'm watching the waves, we've got a little, bit, a little bit of a storm here at Myrtle Beach. But anyway, I'm sitting here, watch, watch, as I sit here and I watch the waves, the Lord is talking to me and he says, even though we may go through our storms, through our trials and through our tribulation, we may go through our suffering, we may go through grief, we may go through heartache and heartbreak. There is hope at the end of every storm. There is hope at the end of every storm. I'm sorry I haven't been on my YouTube page in a while and I, and I must confess I stay on TikTok a lot. It's, 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 it's brought me a lot of healing to just get on there and dance and cut up and have a good time. But sometimes it's time to be a little serious but really I was, I was suffering with so much depression I just couldn't take it. I, I had nothing to give nobody else because I didn't even have nothing to fill my own cup. But anyway, as I sit here on this balcony and just look out at these waves hitting, hitting up against this, this um, hitting up against the ground, the Lord speak to me. I just want to encourage myself. So I got to make sure I can feed myself first and encourage y'all, no matter what kind of storms you're going through, they won't last always, no matter what kind of storms you're going through, they won't last always. Even when I say that, it's hard for me to see my way through the storm. But I know with God all things are possible. It has been really, really bothering me to even look on Facebook because day after day, week after week, I see so many people losing their loved ones from sentences, crimes, even from things natural, it really, really, really hurts me. Since my son passed away, I don't even look at life the same. I can't hold grudges. I can't be going around hating people. I can't be going around with unforgiveness. I have anger, don't get me wrong. I have a lot of anger, a lot of hurt, I go through a lot of depression. I suffer a lot of times in silence. Because God is my best friend. And I do not even be wanting to get on videos falling apart. Because healing is very hard for me. I ain't saying it's, it's hard for everybody, but it's hard for me. Because I miss my child so bad. A lot of things in this life that I could take. But the hardest has been losing my loved ones. And it was already rough because I had like I almost lost my first child the year before. I did lose my second one. But even in the midst of the storms, in the midst of our storms, there is hope on the other side. There is faith on the other side. There's love on the other side. There's compassion. There's forgiveness, there's joy. Even in the midst of your storm. 
Not no God talking to me, but I got to give it to y'all. Even in the midst of your heartache, your heartbreak, there's grief out and loss. There is hope, there's joy, there is healing. We might can't feel it every day. We might can't even feel it right now. But joy will come again. You take the time to heal. Take the time to reevaluate yourself. Take the time to cleanse your soul, your spirit, your mind, your body. There is hope. I really, really, really didn't know it, but I really, really want to write your book. I've been through so much in this lifetime, and I'm not the only one. I'm just, this is my story, so I'm just sharing it. But I've been through so much, and I've had so many trials and tribulations in my life, and not just me, a lot of us. And if me sharing it can help somebody else, even if it's just one person, I promise myself, even if it's just one person, I don't feel like that my work is well done. I'm not perfect. I made mistakes. I have did a lot of things in my life that I'm not proud of. But the three things I know that I did right when I brought my children into this world. I brought my children into this world and little did I know how cruel this world can sometimes be. Little did I know that one of them would leave here before me. But I got to continue to live my life and let him live through me. Is it gonna be easy? No. But it's something that I gotta do. I gotta continue to keep pushing, even when I don't always feel like it. I got to live my life the way that I choose to, not the way the man think I should. I'm a spiritual person. And I always thought that something was wrong with me. We all are spiritual beings. But I'm just saying, just different. And I ain't getting into details about all that because that don't even matter right now. But I just know I can't hide who I am. I can't cover up who I am. I can't even pretend. Because trust me, when you think that you're doing things in the dark, God knows everything. A lot of times in this lifetime, we have a purpose and a gift, and we don't even use it because we worry about what man say. I ain't living my life like that no more. Either you accept me or you don't. I got some people that, that, that love me and some people that don't like me, and that's all fine and good because you got a right to feel whatever way you want to feel about me and about anybody else, but I know my heart will be clean. I want to continue to try to forgive people and I hope that people can forgive me. Yes, I have a past. A checkered past is not perfect. We all do. But I ain't on here to judge y'all and I ain't on here to be judged, but I'm just saying. But in the midst of your storms, I have to show y'all the ocean. In the midst of the storms and the trials and tribulations, know that your faith can conquer anything. I put your faith in God. And this precious son of Jesus can conquer anything. I don't care what the situation looks like. I don't care what it feels like. I don't care what you're going through. Y'all, I can say this today and be told up tonight, but I'm going to say it anyway. Keep pushing. Stay encouraged. Stay focused. Take some time for you. Don't let people continue to drain your energy. Don't continue to keep giving to people when you have nothing to give to yourself. Don't continue to let people break you. Don't continue to let people break you down. Don't get, continue to let people have no power and authority over you. Because God is the only one that has power over you and you have power over yourself. Just stay encouraged. Stay focused. Stay in the fight. Even when times get hard, just know if man don't love you, the God do. You're not by yourself. You're not alone. Your mental health matters. My mental health matters. The whole world many of matters. And love and forgiveness and happiness and joy 
and peace starts from within. So keep pushing, find your way, stay encouraged, stay blessed, and stay focused. Anyway, I'm enjoying my vacation. I'm having a good time. I'm going to post as many pictures as I want to post. I'm going to turn up and I'm going to make the best of this life that God has given me. And what man's opinion of me don't even matter. So I'm here to tell you, what man's opinion of you don't even matter. It's the opinion that you have of yourself. Stay encouraged, stay focused, and stay strong. Please like, share, subscribe to my page. And I'm sorry I've been gone for a minute, but I'll be back whenever I can. I had to share that with y'all. Anyway, y'all, enjoy the rest of y'all day. God bless. Stay encouraged. Anyway, remember to like, share, and subscribe to my page. Even if you don't like me, somebody else can be blessed from this message. Anyway, talk to y'all later. Mwah.